here I am on Cortero Road over there in the maybe uh, a few hundred feet is Ace Hardware to the uh, west of me and I'm across the street from Taco Bell and Dunkin Donut there so if you uh, just walk east on Cortero Road right here to the right you'll see the beginning of the uh, loop Chuck Huckleberry Loop and it goes north along the Santa Cruz Wash right here and I'm just a <clears throat> few yards from the entrance to the loop you have a couple of options here you can continue on down the loop or right here where this railing is <clears throat> is another opening it goes down this cement ramp let me uh, get over a little more so you can see it better and that'll take you down a dirt path that follows along the loop but is in the wash itself below the loop so if uh, you know especially with the pandemic going on this is a good way to stay away from people as you walk along the wash uh, obviously more people walk the loop than they do in the wash so we're gonna walk I'm gonna take the loop today and walk north along the wash and then I'm going to cut off to the left when uh, it's time to go see the water. As you walk down the loop and I look over to my left, you can see where that dirt road is I was talking about down below. Just follows right along the loop. And over to the west, you can see some Burrow Peak as you walk down it and on your right you got the Catalina Mountains I think those are the Catalinas Push Ridge and all that and there's a golf course right here sprinklers are on I think that's the quarry golf course there's also way on the other side of the loop is another section of the loop that runs parallel but the river is closer to this side so if you want to see the river this is the side to be on but uh, that section over there on the other side of the wash uh, begins at the same bridge the Cortero bridge just on the other side of the bridge and you it's a much, it's much longer than this side it continues on past Twin Peaks, way out to Avra. Eventually they're going to uh, include Marana as they're going to extend that out to Marana. You'll be able to walk like from over here on Cotero Road at the bridge all the way up to Marana. That'll be really cool. As you walk north on the loop to your left will be this railing between you and the wash and when you uh, see this railing end right here that's the half mile mark 0.53 miles to be exact from the beginning of this walk and what and uh, I'm actually usually on bike but my bikes in the repairs so I'm walking today but if you're on bike you know you can it's oh yeah I should mention it's illegal to ride your bike in the in the wash over here this is a protected area so what you want to do is uh, I usually hitch my bike here on this railing or on this uh, railing on the other side and go by foot from this point forward so when you hit the end of this railing, you just walk down this 
little incline right here and you can see over there the dirt road you can still see the dirt road over there that's been running parallel and uh, you know if you have trouble navigating these this incline you can always take that dirt road and avoid having to walk down this spot here but anyway so I'm going to take a left at the end of the railing into this dirt road. So I've taken that left turn. There's the end of the railing. And this dirt road from that point forward actually becomes a, I think they call them dikes. It's a flood control device, you know, like a high cement retainer. And you just start walking north along this cement retainer. And it won't be very long before you start seeing water on your left. I'm now 0.66 <clears throat> miles, a little over half a mile from where this video began. And we have first sight of water. You'll see how uh, steep this uh, retaining wall and how deep it is. It's pretty treacherous if you were to go down there. But there is a way to get down there. And a reason. So you got a nice long view of the river there. And the problem is you got all these buildings. It's unfortunate that uh, people treat uh, mountain views out here like beachfront property. And they, uh, at the expense of everyone who can't afford uh, to own property on the edge of a mountain. Anyway, uh, if you want to eliminate those buildings, you want to get down here. So, and the way to do that is to just keep walking north. On your left, it's just a uh, maybe a hundred yards past where you first see water. You'll see here that uh, the retaining wall gets much, much shorter. It's just maybe three feet high. And then you can get down there and walk your way back to the point where I first showed you the water. I'm not going to do that today though because <clears throat> I want to get some pictures of these rapids over here today. So I'm going to crawl down there and uh, get some uh, long exposure photos of that. It's a really good place to be alone, you know, in this day and age of the pandemic, uh, there's a lot more people out. A testimony to that is I took my bike in for repairs yesterday and they told me it was going to be a five week turnaround to get it fixed because everybody's buying bicycles and taking their old bicycles in for repairs. And that's because of the pandemic. People don't want to go to the gym, they want to be outside. And it's making outside a little more crowded than it used to be. There's also other spots you can see the river further north. Uh, off the top of my head, I can't recall if you can climb down, but as you go north, there's fewer and fewer buildings on the other side anyhow, so uh, you don't have to go down there as, uh, to uh, get rid of buildings as you would need to. So anyway, that's it folks. Uh, my little tour of where I get my water pictures. Some of them I get from the other side of the wash. There are a few spots you can uh, 
seawater over there too. And uh, I won't be here much longer, so <clears throat> there's no problem with me giving these spots away. I'm moving over to Oro Valley pretty soon. Kind of sucks because I bought some uh, knee-high boots not too long ago, and uh, my plan was to actually go in the river and walk along it and take wildlife photos and photos of the river. And I never even got to try them once, but I'm moving to some other exciting areas to photograph, and uh, I hope you guys will follow me out there too. Uh, I'll be moving in about a month. In the meantime, I'll uh, get as many of these river shots as I can. All right, well, thanks.